Buenas noches, buenas noches, buenas noches. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, teacher. How It's you doing? <laughs> It's just you today. Well, happy Thanksgiving, sir. <laughs> ¿Qué tal el trabajo, uh, Joe? Uh, pesado, pesado, pero ahí vamos. Pesado, pero primero Dios, you know, things are going to get better. I hope so. They always, well, they can't get any worse. Así me decía mi mamá, well, it can't get worse. So, in this case, it, it can be worse. <laughs> <laughs> in this case, you know, I, I had been working at, at one place for a really long time. And I thought to myself, oh my God, you know, I, uh, there's this thing called the comfort zone. No. Have you ever heard of, about that? Yeah. All right, so then you get comfortable in one place and you think that without that place that you're not going to do too, too, too good. And you think if I quit, you know, it's going to be really hard to get to another place like this. But once you take the step and you leave, you come to find out that there's actually many options out there and that it you know that you could possibly find a better place where you're going to feel even better so uh, let me give let me give you the example joe mira estoy con inglés corporativo en insaforb y me siento genial And, and I never thought that it would get, you know, like this. I never thought that it would get to this point. Así es que ánimo, ánimo, amigo, ánimo. Actually, I work by myself. Oh, okay, okay. Now, <laughs> now let me tell you that I have a little, I, I, I also do that. I, I, I work, I, I didn't want to have a boss anymore. I don't know, I, I think, I don't know if, if you feel the same way. I, I am my own boss. You are your own boss. And, and so that, that's, that must feel great. Um, I have a little business where I sell watches and um, I don't know what, what these are called, bracelets for, you know, for women. And so I was yeah. doing that for, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say maybe four or five months. So for four or five months, I was my own boss. But there was something missing, you know. I wanted to do something more. I wanted to do a little bit extra. But Joe, there was something missing. <laughs> Always the money. The you money know, is the fact. And the money. So, so then, you know, I, you know, I think God blessed me with having the little business on the side and working on my own. And then, you know, thank God that in support and English Corporativo came along. And so... Por eso te digo, Joe, ánimo, amigo, ánimo. Yeah. Better things will come. Like the song of Sinatra. The There best you go. Is yet to come. The best <laughs> is yet to come, exactly. Happy, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, Wendy. Eh, gusto de verle regreso. Ya teníamos varios días. Yo decía, ¿dónde está? Está Wendy. ¿Dónde se habrá ido? Está Wendy. Está? <laughs> Me levantaba en la noche pataleando Pero aquí pensando. Estoy. <laughs> Gusto de verle regreso, Wendy. Uh, Alex, gracias, buenas. Gracias. Claudia, buenas. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, Hello. everybody. Thank you, sir. Happy thanks. Thank you. Giving a todos. Uy, y puse giving. A ver, espérame. Giving. To all. There we go. And welcome to class. Well, welcome to Friday because Thursday is our Friday. Uh, hay muchas personas que solo se quedan así con el deseo de que es eh, el jueves de amigo o, o el viernes chiquito. Pero para nosotros, nuestro jueves en verdad es nuestro viernes. So, so you know, we, we get a little bit of a break. Um, nos toca viernes, sábado y domingo descansar y luego regresamos el lunes. Por favor, les recuerdo para los compañeros que tal vez I, I, I gave a message yesterday and the message was that 
the classes end on December 10th. So there's still about 10 days for you guys to complete the platform work. And I wanted to tell you about the date because on the website, it says that the course ends on December 19th, but that is false. It will actually end on December 10th. Así que tienen hasta diciembre 10. Así es que ojo, ojo con eso. All right, ladies and gents, bienvenidos. Vamos a dar inicio. Creo que over the past couple of weeks, eh, el tiempo como que se nos va muy rápido. It's either I talk too much, o en verdad son cosas muy, muy interesantes, ¿verdad? Entonces, I hope that it's, it's that it's because it's really, really interesting. Aquí está mi, aquí está mi paginita, and this is what we're going to do today. We're going to do a quick review of the platform. Uh, we're going to work on the midterm. We are going to do a practice reading, which we have been doing, and then we have our exercises on live worksheets. I hope you guys enjoy those too. Um, I was thinking about doing the practice reading first, and then, uh, and then once we complete the practice reading, go into the midterm, and then, and then once we complete the midterm, then we go back uh, into the live worksheet. Hopefully, we can get to that point. Eso es lo que espero, que, que, que podamos llegar a ese punto. Así es que vamos a iniciar. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. ¿Qué tal, Ana Gloria? ¿Qué tal? Bienvenida. Eh, veo, veo que todavía veo un poquito de humo del pavo. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué? No. El oh, I was sick. You got, oh, I was no. sick. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Ana. I'm sorry to hear nice. that. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, les estaba dando la bienvenida. And I wanted to know if you guys could see my screen. Can everybody see the screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. So uh, we left off in section three. And as you guys can see, I still have a little bit that I need to cover. And then we said that we were going to go into the midterm and discuss the midterm, the, the midterm one by one. And hopefully that helps you guys by the time you get to the midterm if you haven't completed it yet. If you guys already completed the midterm, um, please help me out because I still have three that I have not completed. I, I, I still haven't finished three sections. So we're gonna review the first three sections, which I already did. And then all together as a team, you guys help me with D, E, and F. All right, so before we jump into that, we are gonna do our daily reading exercises. So, ojo con esto. Let me know if you guys can see. And this one, we're gonna do the way that we have been doing it before, which was um, working on the page and then answering the questions directly from the page. Give me one second, I think, ah, here it is. Okay, and so there is my page and here is my story. So let's start off with that. Uh, can everybody see? And can everybody read? Yes. Yes, everybody's okay? Yes. All right, all right. so this story is not long, but it's also not short. I think this one is a little bit above uh, short. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys two solid minutes on it, and then that way you guys can read it through. And once you guys finish reading, we're gonna go to the questionnaire. All right, two minutes start right now, ladies and gentlemen.
¿Qué tal con esta? Everybody good? Todo bien. All of these stories are pretty good. I like them. I like them. I really like them. All right. So now we're going to go to the question. Let me go ahead and make these a little bit bigger as well. And I hope. All right. So here we go. Question number one says, the crow had a piece of apple, a mouse, a piece of cheese. A piece of cheese. A piece of cheese. A piece of cheese. Okay. Yay. All right. As the crow sat there, who came up? A blackbird, a rooster, a fox. A fox. A fox. All right. We got it. We got it. Okay. As the crow sat there, no, I say I fool. Perdón. The fox wanted a crow dinner to sit in the tree to have the cheese. 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 All right. Good, good, good. Next one. The fox began to flatter the crow. What does flatter mean? To tell lies, to move his wings, to talk about how great another is. To talk about how great another is. To talk about, yeah, all right. The flattering of the fox was about the crow's cleverness, cheese, or beautiful voice? The beautiful voice. Beautiful voice, everybody agree? Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Six. The crow felt flatter and began to sing to show how beautiful his voice was. When he did this, what happened? It sank to the ground. His voice was beautiful. Or the fox sang with him. What happened? The cheese fell to the ground. The cheese fell to the ground. All right. Let's put that one on there. All right. All right. I have a good feeling about this one. The fox said the crow had a voice but was not beautiful. Hungry or smart? Beautiful. Smart. He was not beautiful. Okay. He was not smart. smart. You have the voice, but you are not, or you don't have. Beautiful. Beautiful? A ver, a ver. Smart, smart, teacher. Smart, smart. <laughs> It's good. Oh, we almost went with beautiful. All right, last one, last one. We should be careful with flattery because the person is just telling lies, the person wants something from you, or the person is too proud to admit you are right. The person wants something from you. The person wants something from you? A little bit. Oh, oh my goodness. 100%. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Well done. Well done. Okay. Let's go back a little bit. And let's go into the platform itself. Lessons section three, lessons 3.0 to 3.12. We had managed to cover the requests all in one big swoop the other day. And we were talking about indirect requests. We were able to go from a direct question to an indirect question, which is what the lessons were all about. Um, four different ways that you can do these. Uh, you know, you can turn a statement into an indirect request by using the word that, by using an infinitive, by using if or whether, which are categorized as one, or by using a question word. So having a question within a question, which is another thing that we talked about. All right. So once we got past the indirect request, we were pretty much done with the lesson itself. We went to the knowledge check. Well, you guys should have gone to the knowledge check. And then once that has been completed, you go into the midpoint. And so what we're going to do today 
in this little space is we're gonna go into the midterm and we're gonna go into the different sections one by one. If you guys already completed them, remember, help me out. If you guys have not completed them, then just keep in mind that this is what you guys are gonna be doing once you guys reach the midterm. Les recomiendo que traten de terminar el midterm either today or tomorrow, pero definitivamente en este fin de semana largo que ustedes van a tener. Okay, so let's, let's start the review process. I already finished it. And so the exercise itself asked you to listen to a conversation and then you had to fill it out with the correct blank space. So it started out with number one. Number one said blank is completely honest and gives helpful advice. And then the <laughs> options were Thomas, Mr. Parks or Bill. In this particular case, Mr. Parks was the correct answer. Okay. Question number two. It bothers Shelly and Martin when people don't reply to emails, send them a birthday say... card, forget to say thank you. Right? And I think I'm I'm one of those I'm one of those people. If one of my kids asks me for something and he doesn't say thank you, I get very upset. Right? Y comienzo yo, ¿y cómo se dice? Ah, ¿y cómo se dice? And then, so if somebody forgets to say thank you, it's really upsetting. How do you guys feel when somebody doesn't say thank you? Are you guys okay with that? It's, it's bothers me. It, <laughs> all right. It, it does bother you guys. Yeah, a little upset, it does bother you. Okay, all right. All right, number three. Billy and Paula would love being blank. A lifeguard this summer, friends with the director, or an extra in a movie. And an extra in a movie is correct. All right. Number four. Caroline wants to apply for the ski shop sales clerk ski instructor position or part-time cooking job and then ski, on this instructor is position. ski instructor position all right and that mm -hmm. that actually completes lesson a which is listening listening to a conversation and keeping track all right we're moving to b in this one in this particular uh, lesson in the midterm you have to choose the correct word. And so you have to be careful with A or N. That's why they show them like this. So depending on the word that you select, you either use A or you use N. Do you guys remember the rule for using A or using N? Who can remember the rule? When do you use A? And when do you use and? Let me use it. Let me put it here. We use oh. a, a consonant and n with vocal. And then we have the and with vowels. And then so we said that the a was with consonants and and with the vocal. With vowels. Right? With vowels, I'm sorry about that. Oops, sorry, vowels. All right. I think I misspelled consents. All right. Consents. Consonants. All right. Okay. So we have consonants and we have vowels. All right. So we look at the sentence and we read it. I prefer uh, I prefer a or an blank boss who I can do my best for her. And so we selected organize. So I prefer I prefer 
an organized boss who I can do my best for her? In this particular case, the answer, organized. Number two, Patty is modest, intolerant, or stingy? In this, modest. the answer for number two, modest. Patty is a modest a person modest. who never brags about her grades. Patty is a modest person. Okay. Our coach can't stand blank players. Number three, considerate, easygoing, or egotistical? In this particular case, egotistical. Our coach can't stand egotistical players. There's no need for an A or an on this one. And to finish it off, I don't want to work with a difficult person. This person is sensitive, unreliable, sociable. Unreliable. 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 All right, and there it is. This is midterm section B, and it is complete. C, put the words in order. I think we worked this one. I, I, I think was confused I, with that. I think we worked this one together. Okay. So what do you have to do? You have to put the words in order to make sentences. And so they scrambled it up for us. And the example is, is when person upsets it unreliable a me? It upsets me when a person is unreliable is the correct way of putting it all together. And so the same thing happened for number one. Mind forgets when, name, don't, someone, it, I, my. And the correct way was, I don't mind it when someone forgets my name. Boom. Number two, when late can't appointments for it, I people stand are. And the correct way, I can't stand it when people are late for appointments. Number three. Friend, me happy out when it lunches. Me, A takes two. It makes me happy when a friend takes me out to lunch. And that is it for the section. Now, out of the three sections that we had, which one was the hardest for you personally? Which one did you say, oh my God, this is tough? A, B, or C? I think C, teacher. C? But and personally, because in right. this, this exercise, when I have to fold the blanket, okay. I have some problems in some occasions. Okay, all right. It usually, for being honest, I always have one wrong or two wrong when I have this kind of exercise. Okay, all right. And now let me tell you, let me tell you, Alex, a lot of, I would say a lot of the classes, a lot of, a lot of people working these exercises had problem with it. So don't feel like, oh my God, you know, this, you know, I can't, I can't do this. Or is it just me? No, it's not. Everybody had problems. I think I even had problems with a couple of these. I don't know okay. if you guys remember that we were working them and it, they wouldn't come out right until we, we started flipping them back and forth. So it's okay. It's totally okay. Okay, DJ. Thanks. All right. Okay, so we're moving forward, guys. And now this one is, these are blank. These I haven't completed. So if you guys have done these, um, you guys can help us out and we can work them out together. So 
gerunds. You guys remember the gerund phrases? Okay. What do we have to do? We have to complete the sentence using a gerund phrase. And then, so it starts off with blank, seems exciting. I've always been interested in design. And then we get sections to choose from. Writing a gossip column, working as an architect, retiring at age 50. Working as an architect. Working as an architect. All right, that one sounds pretty good because the other one is the chambroso y el otro is retiring. <laughs> There's, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think retiring is that exciting. It's pretty good. I, I want to retire, right? I think, I think most of us want to retire, but I don't think it's going to be exciting. I'm going to be sitting in my couch all day. All right, working as an architect seems exciting. I've always been interested in design. Well, you know, design. Okay. All right. Next one. Number two. Cheryl wouldn't like blank for the school paper. She doesn't really care about campus politics or social activities. Writing a gossip column, working as an architect, or retiring at age 50. What do you think goes in there? Gossip column. Writing a gossip column. Writing a gossip column. Okay. All right. So before we continue, where is the gerund? On number one, which word is the gerund? Work. 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 Because we added the ing and we converted it to working. And that makes it the gerund there. All right. On number two, which one is the gerund? Right. Right. And then we added the double, well, we added the ing and we converted it to writing. That is correct. All right, let's keep going. La ultima, number three. You've saved 25% of your salary all your life. Now it's time to have some fun. Blank sounds fantastic. You deserve it. Writing a gossip column, working as an architect, or retiring at age 50. Retiring at age 50. Retiring at age 50. All right, let's go. Closing my eyes for this one. All righty then. Nice. Well done, everybody. Okay, moving forward. Section E on the midterm. Complete the sentences. Check boxes. And aerobics, aerob, aerobics instructor, aerobics. Oh, I, I messed up on that one. Aerobics, aerobics instructor. Let me see. Let me see how we can say that one. I think I'm not pronouncing it. Threw, threw me off. This is the secret, everybody. Let me see here. Oh, it doesn't tell me how to say it. I thought it would be here. We know it in Spanish. Aerobics. 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 Let me see. Let me try it. It has to be here. Oh, my God. I think it's going to be here in the Britannica. Oh, good Lord Almighty. Well, I want to be able to say it right. I don't want to give up. Como era? Which are the no? 
how do you pronounce would be a great it's thing. Uh, it's Yo. better if you search that translate Google. And you then can you use translate? Yeah, you use translate and then put the word. In. You know the pronunciation what I, is down. You know what? I, I haven't used a, a translator for quite some time. Aerobics. Aerobics, I think that's how you say it. Okay. Let me see. See, a rob no. Aerobics. Oh my god. Aerobics. Aerobics. So there's no pronunciation on the E. The A sounds like a like an E. Aerobics. Can you guys hear the lady from Translate? No. Nope. No, you guys can't hear. All right, so, so what they what she does is they they don't sound this out, and it just sounds like it's aerobics, aerobics. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry about that, guys. An aerobic instructor probably earns blank a tennis coach better pay than not as hard as as much as. As, as much as, 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 as an aerobic instructor probably earns as much as a tennis coach. An aerobic instructor probably earns as much as a tennis coach. Not as hard as, better paid than. No, it doesn't. Yeah, as much as. All right. So I think that sounds good. An aerobic, aerobic. How would I see how to see? Okay. A web designer has blank an international TV journalist as well paid more, as better hours more than interest. more interesting than more interesting than an international TV journalist. A, ver. A web designer has as more, more interesting, interesting than an international, an international TV journalist. TV journalist. You know, I, I'm feeling iffy about this one. Let's 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 sound it out. Let's use as well paid as. Let's see. A web designer has as well paid as an international TV journalist. No, not good, not good. Porque tiene has and as and then ha, y después tiene as and an. So that it doesn't go too well. Let's see. Let's try another one. A web designer has better hours than an international TV journalist. You know? Yeah. Better hour that? I think better hours than. It sounds more complete. A web designer has better hours than an international TV journalist. Let's see, let's switch. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it to better hours than because it just it sounds I don't like the way this than and an sound together. It sounds like they don't fit. Pero está también better hours. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna go. We're gonna go with Joe. Joe said better hours than. Let's leave it like that. Okay. Psychiatrist are often politicians. Number three, better educated than, as much work as, or more college degrees than. Better educated than. Better educated than? Okay. Uh, better educated than a politician? Out of as much work as or more college degrees than yes. more uh, as teacher more because we don't as know about the yeah. more college degrees than as School. much work mm -hmm. as much work as or better educated than? I think better educated. Third one, more college degrees than? 
Yes. Yeah. All right, let's try that one. Okay. And it's multiple choice, so I hope it's just one. I hope. Okay. Working as a comedian is blank being a movie actor. Worst hours than, as much as, or less interesting than. Working as a less comedian. Interesting. Less interesting. I less interesting than. Less interesting than. Less interesting than? All right. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try it out. Let's go. So, do you guys remember? Do you guys remember what is it that we're doing with these exercises? What are we doing? What What are we doing when we say when we say not as hard as or as much as or better hours than or when you say better educated yes. than or less interesting than. What are we doing? ¿Cómo se llama eso? You guys remember comparison. That? Um, comparison. Comparison. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And remember that with comparison, there's many mm -hmm. levels and there's different words mm -hmm. for all these different levels of comparison that you guys can use. All right. Good, good, good. I'm glad you remembered. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm so, oh my goodness. Oh, which one did we miss? Oh, we missed the psychiatrist. Somebody uh, else had somebody else had a different opinion. I think somebody said better educated than. Let's try that one. I see that. Let's leave that one. Oh, it was better educated than. Mm -hmm. All right. I tried it earlier today. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we got it. We got it. So. Number one, as much as. Number two, better hours than. Number three, better educated than. And number four, less interesting than. Yes, All right. Sir. Yes, sir. What is the pronunciation from number three? Psych Psychiatrist? Or oh, yeah, yeah. So some people, when they make fun of this word, they say P psychiatrist. But the thing is that the P is silent in this particular case. And so mm -hmm. what you say is psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist, yeah. Uh, like a K, okay. So it, sounds, it sounds very much like a K, yes sir. Psychiatrists. Okay. Thanks, teacher. And, and now this is the plural version, right? Because it has the S. So psychiatrist in general, that's what it's talking about. Thanks, teacher. All right, no problem. ¿Cómo es? Y, la, y esta, ¿cómo se dice? Aerobics. No sé, no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> I really, it really threw me off. All right. So this one. Oh, my goodness. It's a midterm. And I have to read. Con razón, este teacher me estaba haciendo leer tanto, hombre. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Uh, it's really tiny. Let me we, see. We don't know. We don't see did you guys <laughs> now, I I see. Now, now I can't get it let me see let me see let me make it a little bit bigger here it usually gives me the option but not today all right so here it is for me it's a leader I can't read are you, are you guys able to see it Yes. Yes, I can see. Everybody can see. Okay, great. So, let's take. Uh, I'm going to give you guys maybe. Well, how much time do you need? Maybe a minute, two minutes to read it, or do you need more than that? Two minutes. Yes. All right. Dos minutos. Let's take two minutes. Let's start the two minutes now. Eight forty.
All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Yeah, no, yes. I, I just no, yes. have a, a question for yes, a word. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. A ver, what's the word? And let's see if I can help. Is butcher? I don't, I'm, Dispatcher. I'm not sure if, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let me see where, where it is. It is in the second paragraph. In the in second? The third line. Oh, yeah. the flight dispatcher. Okay. So, yes. I don't know if you guys have seen, at the airport, there's a tower. Have you guys ever seen that tower? There's like a big tower and it looks like there's people inside like this big tower with glass windows. Yeah. All right. Well, inside that tower, they have these guys called flight dispatchers. And what they do is they control the traffic. So, también tienen otro nombre. También se llaman air traffic controllers. Say if you guys have ever heard of that. Air traffic controllers or flight dispatchers. And what they do is they just they just tell the planes when to land, what runways to use, when to take off, and things like that. So okay, flight, thank you. yeah, flight dispatchers. Okay, so let's let's go from the newspaper. I need three statements that are true, and then we have to select them. So it's multiple questions, multiple answers. But they have to be three, two, perdón. They have to be three true statements. De verdad. Okay, so here we go. The first one. Not all aspects of a pilot's job are interesting. Is that a true or false statement? True. 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 Okay. The flight dispatcher's main job is to help fly the plane. Wow. False. Okay, so, we, so we leave it blank. It's not the pilot's job to check for mechanical problems on the plane. Truth. <coughs> That's a true statement? Okay. One of the worst things for the pilot is the lack of space in the cockpit. True. True. No. That's it then. That's it. We can only choose three statements that are true. So let's read the second and maybe we can change our mind. Once the plane is in the air, the co-pilot has nothing to do. Oh. And the, the, oh. pilot, the pilot is responsible for everybody's life on board. True. This one is true. This one is true? true. Yeah, so and the fourth one is false. The fourth one not? <laughs> The number three is false or, or not? I think number three is false because say uh, the pilot also helped to check the mechanical problem. Okay. So then one of the worst things for the pilot is the lack of space in the cockpit. Is that a true statement or a false statement? Okay, yes. and, uh, the true the, the number five teacher. Five, a ver, a ver. Once the plane is in the air, the co-pilot has nothing to do that's a true statement. No, I think it's false. Yes. I mean, I hear, I hear somebody, I heard a couple of falses, so let's, no, let's try it out. Five. Number five. False. Number false. five. <laughs> In my opinion, it is right. the truth, the number five teacher. All right, let's, let's, let's give it a, let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. One, two, <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the hell, man? So it's one, four, and six as the true statement. All right, and, and I think that's it. I think that's, we're done. Let me see what happens here. Let me take it back a little bit. Yeah, that's it. We went to mm -hmm. section four. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have completed the sections. We completed the midterm as a group, as a team. And I want you guys to know that if for whatever reason you guys need help with these sections, 
uh, please put them on our group in WhatsApp. Or if you have questions about uh, very specific uh, items or lessons, you can get my number. Um, me apare aparece en el WhatsApp, aparezco como Roberto Martinez. I think, I think that's how it, it should be. Le iba a poner Master Jedi, Roberto Martinez, pero me regañaron, me dijeron que no podía poner nada así. <laughs> <laughs> y, y ahora con, el, con esto que había salido del Mandalorian y el Baby Yoda, también me quería poner ahí Mando o Roberto Martínez, pero no me dejaron tampoco. Así es que, uh -huh. let me go back here a little bit to the courses. Uh, 4.0 is what we're going to be taking care of next week. Um, let me see. From the sections that we have already seen, is there anything that you guys would like to maybe take a quick look? Kind of like a little reminder or maybe an activity. Do you guys remember the activity that we were doing yesterday? Let me see here. I had the font. I think we were doing the indirect questions activity. Do you guys remember that? Y creo que todavía yes, les dije, y todavía les dije, me recuerdan, por favor. We were working in the live sheets. In live the live, sheets. yeah, yeah, the live worksheets. All right. So let me, let me go here. Let me do these because uh, we always leave a couple of these just hanging around. So if you guys are interested in doing some of these on your own, you guys can by going to live, así se llama, worksheets.com. Ahí se los puse en el chat. And what you do is you can go and you can look up anything here. All you have to do is go into the search and you guys can look it up. For example, if you want to work on your nouns, te salen todas las, well, the majority of these items would be for nouns. You see that? And then it tells you, what do you want to do? Do you want to make these plural? And how do you make them plural? Do you just add an S or do you have to add an ES? And then, so you can do the exercises yourself. None of these exercises come with the answers. So you're going to have to work and, you know, and try to get as much, as, as much correct ones as you can. And then what I would recommend is if you get something wrong, Look it up and see if that works. All right. So keep that in mind for the worksheets. This is the one. This is one of the worksheets for indirect questions. So let me go ahead and make it a little bit larger. Okay. And let me just make sure that that's what we were looking at. Indirect requests. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, for indirect. Okay. We're good. We're good here. Indirect questions as a review. Guys, remember the direct question is, where is the docent? And then to make it into an indirect question, you have to add a whole introductory phrase. Keep the where, but you have to swap out the is. So direct question is, where is the docent? And the indirect question is, can you tell me where the dozen is, the dozen is? Same thing for the museum. What do you like about the museum? That's direct. I wonder what you like about the museum is the indirect question. And so here they are. Okay. And so now these exercises show you the direct question, where's the station? And the indirect question with the first portion already in there. So the introductory portion is already in there. So help me out. Tell me how can I turn where is the station into an indirect question? Can you tell me you tell where the station, station is? Can you tell me where? The station is? Yes. Así. Yes. 
Where is the station? Can you tell me where the station is? Everybody feel good about that one? Yes. En, en, tu, en tu corazón se oye como que si es lo correcto. Yes, teacher. Yes, all right. I'll yes. accept it. I'll accept it. I'll accept it. Okay, next one. Are you coming? Are you coming to the party? Can you let me know if? If you are coming to the party. If you are coming to the party. Okay. How does it work? Can you explain? How does it work? Can you explain how it works? How it works. Hey, pero ¿y qué pasó? ¿Y por qué no puedes decir aquí? Can you explain me how it works? No se puede, porque me no se puede meter aquí. Acuérdense, se escucha todo rarito. Can you explain me? No, no. Si tú quieres ocupar esa palabra, if you want to use me and explain in the same sentence, you have to add an infinitive. You have to say, can you explain to me how it works? Can you explain to me how it works? You need the infinitive T-O. All right? Keep that in mind. All right, all right. One more, one more. What's the matter? Please tell me. What the matter is. What the matter is. Se oye como que, como que no cuadra, cuadra, no cuadra. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? Can you tell me? Please tell me what the matter is. I just is. have a question. Yes, ma'am. It doesn't matter if you put a interrogative mark and you already have an interrogative mark. You I know what? You I, think, I, think, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think it might give us an error. Let me go ahead and erase that. All right. So with this one, it only has a dot. Okay. So we got what's the matter. And now we're going to get, please tell me what the matter is. Does that sound, does that sound okay? Please tell me what the matter is. Do you guys think there's a different way of writing it? Please tell me. No, but that's, if we're following the rules, if we're following the rules, see, that would be it. What is the matter? It would be just adding one portion to it. All right, let's leave it like that. Let's see how we turn out. All right. It's... One more, one more. Where are you from? And the indirect question would be, I'd like to know. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where? I like to know where you're from. Where you from? Lo dejamos igual. Where you are from? Así. What do you guys think? A ver. You know, I Just have a... Where you're from? I think this one could also be... I'd like to know if you are from... And then provide the name of the city. No, verdad? No, 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 porque it's a question. Where are you from? Where I'd like to know where are you from? You know what? Let's see what like that. Let's see what happens. It might be right. All right, let's let's check it out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Y para esta hay un montón, ¿eh? Oh, 
Oh, okay. So we got where the station is. You are coming to the party, how it works, what the matter is. I'd like to know. Oh, yeah, no, where are you from? The thing is that you can't use it like the whole thing. I'd like to know. Mm, I don't know. If you are from, and then provide the name of the Where city. You from, uh, perdón, perdón. Uh, Let me see. Let's try it like this. No. What can we use? Where are you from, R? Where? No, that one. Hold on. Let me see. I'd like to know. Are you from, no, no, pero es que no se puede tampoco. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Where are you from? I'd like to know. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? No, pero es que no cuadra esa sentence. Y sale verdecito. Oh, wow. Oh man, ahora me voy a quedar con esto. Where are you from? I'd like to know. Nice. I'd like to know. Where are you from? Where are you from? Well, yeah, we use that one. Where, are where you from? are you from? Solo where are you from? Where you are from? I see. Did we try it like that before? Without yes. R. Without the R? We are ready to try. Please try. Where, where are you, are you from? from? Only. Where are you from? Let me see. Oh my goodness. Oh no. I'm gonna have where to. Where do you from? Ahora voy a tener que pasar toda la noche buscando. Where are you from? Maybe can be the question mark. You no? think? You think we turn it into a question mark? Where think, are you from? I guess like it's a formation. I'm not sure. <laughs> I like it's to know where are you where from? But if you no pones la R, a ver, let's try it. Where you are do you from? from? And then the question mark. Okay. But we tried it like that, I think. Yeah, no. Oh God. All right. Well, you know what, guys? I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up and I'll give it to you guys tomorrow. Well, no, not not tomorrow, not tomorrow. I'll, I'll send it to you guys in WhatsApp. Hopefully, you guys are all on there. If not, on Monday. All right. Happy Thanksgiving. Goodbye. Enjoy your turkey. Thank you, too. Good evening. Bye. Me guardan un pan con chompipollo. Adios. Bye. Bye, teacher.